Hello there, guys. I'm always going to wait for somebody to pop up. How are you guys doing? You know, this kind of looks like a mirror. So whenever I put on the live, you see me always fiddling because I'm seeing myself and I'm going, am I presentable or not? Anyway, how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody's doing fine. And thank you, Elizabeth, for being the first one to pop up and Denise Pearlie and Asia and John and Jay, his brother Jay may not be here, Elizabeth and Mandy, thank you guys so much, and Tasha, thank you guys so much for your support and for being here, and, and Jackie Jenkins and Garnett and April, okay, okay, I got to stop mentioning names, okay, all right, let's get down to business, I don't have a lot of time, there were more things that I wanted to discuss with you guys, but I just didn't have time to pull it all together, so I'm going to have to schedule another live to go over something else, which I really need to dig into a lot deeper than just skim it as, an, as a thing. But first thing we got to do, my heart goes out to the Bryant family, the entire family, the wife, Vanessa, the parents, the sisters, um, the children, Lord have mercy, the children. Oh my God. Oh my God. When I read it, a fan sent it to me. And I don't want to brag about who sent it to me, but thank you so much before it like went big. And um, I couldn't believe it. I woke Cecil up. He was sleeping. I said, Cecil, Cecil, Kobe's dead. And he was like, what? He couldn't believe it. And I couldn't believe it either. So Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, brother. You deserve it. You've been working hard your whole, whole, whole life. And um, you're gone too soon. Gone much too soon at 41 years old. And your daughter... Oh, my God, the beautiful, beautiful uh, Gigi, Gianna. Oh, my God, look at that. Look at that. I would imagine that's how they are up in heaven right now. You know, her and her daddy's arms and them just smiling. Um, rest in peace. Um, it, it's devastating loss for the world. Everybody is shocked. Uh, we're going to get more details about what happened. Um, um <sighs> about what happened um you know we know that the helicopter crashed around 10 a.m and it's very close to where i am i live in woodland hills and um the city next to me going west is calabasas i could literally drive to that spot in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes probably not even 15 minutes probably 10 minutes i can drive there um and um, I didn't go. It was just so, 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 so shocking and so sad. And my heart goes out. And um, anyone that, you know, if you had differences with Kobe or you had issues with them, when there's something tragic like this, of course, that goes all out the window. You know, you never want anybody to suffer this way, you know, and um, just I just had to get that out of the way. I just had to get that out of the way. And if you're still mad and angry on a day that you should be reflective and think, you know, I always, you know, I, I always say this, people that know me, when I'm having a hard day, you know, or I feel like I can't do anything, I always say, I'm going to be like Kobe. I'm just going to keep shooting. Just keep shooting because eventually it'll turn around like Kobe would have little cold streaks. Right. And then Kobe, well, I have to turn the fan on I'm getting hot. And then Kobe would uh, keep shooting. And all of a sudden, three, two, dunk, uh, three pointer, uh, you know, um, field goal or whatever. And Cecil and I, one year that they won the championship, Cecil and I went to the parade because we love watching basketball. Basketball is my most favorite sport to watch. And uh, we went to the parade and we saw Kobe and, and all the other Lakers, too. And um, we remember I, I remember telling Cecil, I said, today, Kobe is the happiest person on earth. When he won a championship, he was happy from the inside of his gut all the way through his heart, through his soul, and through that bright, bright smile that he used a lot, you know? And uh, I always say, if I'm having a bad day, just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. It's going to turn around. It's going to turn around. So he has inspired me. And another thing that I always remember about Kobe, one year they lost the championship, right? And Kobe was upset. And they were interviewing him after the loss. And he said, the next season starts right now. Who remembers that? I remember that because he was like, uh-uh, 
No, we getting ready for next season today, right now. Okay, the game was just over. He's still on the field. He still got sweat on his face from losing that game. And he said next season starts right now. And then Gigi, she was going to be a basketball star too. You know, they were training and he was, um, he was, uh, they were going to a game where he was a coach and he has the Mamba, uh, Black Mamba, um, uh, Mamba, you know, youth center. Um, or uh, some kind of center in St. Thousand Oaks, which is, you know, a little bit of a ways from, from me, but not too, too far. And um, and I wonder what's going to happen. I hope that somebody helps Vanessa out and some other athletes become an investor to make sure that that center stays open and they need to rename it the Kobe Bryant Black Mamba Center. Okay, that's just my thought. You can do whatever you want, but just my thought. I want his name to to um because he's not here to uh keep his name alive anymore all right so my heartfelt you know condolences to anybody that loved kobe and everybody that loved kobe and the entire family and close friends and to the children and to his wife I'm sorry I'm sorry all right let's get to michael jackson okay um, which is what I usually specialize in, Michael Jackson. But of course, I have opinions about other things. And everybody has opinions. I'm not the only one that has an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. And no two people are going to agree on everything all the time. And, you know, so what? You don't agree with someone. You have a disagreement, you move on. I disagree with you. You're terrible. You're awful. Then you move on. You don't stalk somebody their whole life and spend your whole life stalking people. That's That's not, that's... That's a sign that something ain't wrapped right. You know, something is not wrapped right. <laughs> if you spend your whole life on somebody you hate, my goodness gracious. Um, but anyway, um, I want to thank you guys. A couple of things. I want to thank you guys for over 7 million views. And what does that add up to? Some fan to find out. Thank you on my YouTube channel. And then I wanted to also tell you guys that you need to be able to access all my videos. And um, when you do try to access all my videos, if you go this way, you can't see them all. But if you, um, uh, I think if you sort them, if you try to sort the videos on my channel and you sort them from the oldest to the newest, uh, the oldest, then you can see all my videos. Okay, that's how you can um, see all my videos by going from the oldest. All oh, my first one was the Michael Jackson video that I put in, Will You Be There? And it's Michael Jackson. It's at the end of the Trial and Triumph documentary. And it was first called Behind the Scenes of the Michael Jackson Trial. That was my first video that I uploaded in May 2006, 13 years ago. And um, it's with a child's heart. And it is in the Behind the Scenes and the Trial and Triumph documentary. And it's really the fans showing love for Michael Jackson and him going in and out the trial. And we were there for him. We were there for him. So anyway, so you want to see my videos. And there's some other stuff that I have here too. And if the haters want to go back and review every single opinion that I've ever had, knock yourself out. You know, because no one's going to agree with me on everything all the time because you don't sit in my moccasins. I don't sit in your moccasins. So, you know, we're going to people are going to disagree on certain things. It doesn't mean you hate them because you disagree. You disagree and you kind of say what you say and then you just kind of move on. But anyway, there are over, um, I think, nearly 500 videos here, guys. And I show you and I scroll through these videos um, to show you, um, and, and to, to show you, uh, um, that I have so much information. Okay. And I'm going to say something to you guys. Okay. I have so much information that unless you have walked in my moccasins as a, a, a woman, as a black woman, as a Michael Jackson supporter, as a mother, as a, um, a girlfriend, as just a, a thinking person, as a college student, a college graduate, unless you walked in my moccasins, you, you, you're not going to, everybody's not going to believe the same things you believe. One man's hero is another man's terrorist, okay? It, it, it's just the way that it is, okay? So anyway, but I say that to say we are fans. And one thing that we do agree on is that we support Michael Jackson and we love Michael Jackson, okay? So with that commonality, there should be no hatred whatsoever. All right. So anyway, I say that to kind of get into something 
that um, that Michael has said, and, and you guys remember when Michael said that um, if you are the only person that believes in yourself, then you're the only person that believes in yourself. Don't give up. Don't, um, you know, cave in. Don't let other people tell you what your destiny is. You create your own destiny. You be the own arbiter of your own life. You determine what you do. And even if the whole world's against you, you could still believe in yourself. And um, a lot of times with with the um, Peter Michael Bobby situation, um, there's a group, you know, maybe five, six people that, oh, he's Bobby Anderson, you know, okay, I say there's a connection to, to the Bobby Anderson thing, which I put in my Alive 3, um, and oh, shoot, I should have pulled up that part of Alive 3, right? where you guys got to watch a live three. Okay. If you haven't watched a live three, you should, because in a live three, um, in a live three, I go over the different faces of Michael Jackson and, um, and how Michael Jackson, you know, um, uh, dressed like, let me see. I'm going to try to see if I can pull it up real quick. How Michael Jackson, they think Michael Jackson was Dave Dave on September 3rd at the burial ceremony. Um, I also show in Alive 3 that Ghost, the, 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 the mayor and Ghost look like Sheriff Strider from Emmett Till's murder who said he didn't believe that Emmett Till, he thought he was still alive. I showed you guys that. I showed you guys the Miss Jane Pittman, how... Um, uh, a woman dressed up as Miss Jane Pittman came and gave me a hug and how Peter kept saying, oh, I love Sissy Tyson, I love Sissy Tyson. And she was the Miss Jane Pittman. She was the actress that played Miss Jane Pittman. And I also said there could be a real person by the name of Bobby Anderson. And Michael takes on his persona, right? So um, this is the and, uh, live three came out in, um, oh, January 15th, 2017. So we're talking about three years ago. Okay. And um, let me see if I can watch the video. I'm trying to see if I can watch the video. Okay. And I'm see if I can find it real fast. Okay. The part that I want to play. And I played it for other videos already. You know, uh, I'm going to take, oh no, there it was. Oh man. You know, sometimes you're just too impatient. Right. Um, but anyway, I'm going to see if I can find that part real quick. Um, I think it's somewhere in here, um, and it's about the different faces, and Michael loves impersonators, and he has, and he had, oh, here we go, here we go, I think I found it, I think I found it, and how Michael um, had wax figures made of himself, people Here's dressed like him, EYT dressed like him, oh, we haven't done so person. for Go For Me, Ashes and lastly, lately, okay, while dancing, okay. he arbitrarily lifted his pants okay, and I am, okay, that he had like vitiligo. Remember the vitiligo leg. Remember the vitiligo leg. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, wait, wait. Let me put it back just a little bit, just a little tiny bit, just a little, little tiny bit. Okay. Remember the vitiligo part in Alive Three? And it revealed the, that the, he the had light leg. and dark spots on okay. his legs, okay. which are indicative. Okay, and then he returned that Jackson's video. Vitiligo. Okay. Well, because you never know what's light, what's dark with Michael. Um, you know, vitiligo moves and, it, you know, who knows, right? What his legs really look like because he wears makeup and then, you, you know, but it's the light and dark spot. Okay. But anyway, come on, come on, play, play, play. Stop hourglassing. Stop hourglassing. I got things to do. Okay. Oh, man. So anyway, I want to get to this part right here. This is the part I want to play. Okay. Oh, yeah, the vitiligo. So I'm showing the vitiligo, Michael's vitiligo spots, and okay, Michael Jackson ass. Okay, here's a segment I want you guys to pay attention to. It seems a common thing or a way for Michael Jackson to have plausible deniability if he is ever exposed is to be more than one character. Michael's characters seem to be real people that Michael Jackson had created doubles of. Just like there are doubles of Michael Jackson, he probably thought, why not make doubles of other people? And I can pretend to be those other people. We see this with the controversy about Michael being Dave Dave on Larry King Live on September 3rd, 2009, which was the burial date. And we know that there is a real person named Dave Dave. Now let's compare the shoulders. 
It's as if the day Dave on Larry King Live had a prosthesis connected to his shoulders so that his hands could look just like the real Dave Dave's. Also, there's a noticeable difference in the way each of them speak. And okay. there were all these Paul so, uh, records, all of this, the girl is mine, and you know, this and that. You know, about to drop some records here on YouTube, y'all be recognizing, because I'll be, I'll be socializing with your mother I think we're all human beings, and we all have different emotions and different feelings. Plus, the real Dave Dave knows about this controversy, and he has not spoken out against the dozens of death hoax videos that claims that he is really Michael Jackson in disguise on Larry King Live. Also with Bobby Anderson, who could very well be a real person as well. But Michael uses Bobby Anderson as some type of front. Then there's Frontback777 on Twitter, who I don't believe is Michael at all. That's Susan's BS. Too, but I discovered that he's really a fan named Paul Bergman. You can see the matching face structures here. And since front back 777 has a much narrower face than Michael Jackson, it's impossible to put on a mask and make your face smaller. Then there's Dr. A.J. Farshi right. that many fans also believe is Michael Jackson. But Dr. Farshian is a real doctor of Michael's. Dr. Farshian also hangs around with many Jackson family members. So has Michael Jackson borrowed this face as well? Also, there's the duality of Pablo Terragana that exposed this deception by proving to us there are two of them. There's also the character, the mayor, that Michael Jackson plays in his short film, Ghost. Get scared. Maybe you're scared then, but you didn't scare me. And that's too bad, isn't it? I guess I have to try harder next time. Won't be it next time. Oh, really? Oh, really? Next time, huh? Why is that? We want you out of town. We have a nice, normal town. Normal people. Normal kids. Tell me I do the ghost of jealousy. It's the exact face of the real Sheriff H.C. Strider who testified in the murder trial of 14-year-old Emmett Till who said the eerily similar statement that the body was not Emmett Till's and that Emmett Till was still alive. Just as it has been proven that the dead body thought to be Michael Jackson isn't really his and that Michael Jackson is still alive. Michael Jackson seems to be using a reoccurring theme of using historical figures that deal with racism. He has disguised himself as Sheriff Strider and Miss Jane Pittman. All right, there's more. Okay, there's more. Okay. But anyway, anyway, th that's a part of a live three, and it's the longest one of the three. Okay, so you guys can please watch a live three on Vimeo.com or on Amazon.com. Um, watch a live three, okay? Now, I'm not denying that there's a real person named Bobby Anderson, okay? Uh, uh, it, there it is, three years ago. I've been calling him Peter Michael Bobby ever since. But this will teach us a lesson in the illusion of something that's not really something. Even though they might show a million pictures of Bobby Anderson, it doesn't prove that that's who I'm talking to. It doesn't prove that that's who is on the computer. That doesn't prove anything. It's the illusion of a fact when it's not a fact at all. Okay? So, I'm not denying that there's a real Bobby Anderson. I have it in my Alive 3. Okay? So, it, it, it and I have proved to you guys that the South Carolina tie, the estate has been paying taxes in South Carolina since at least 2009. So, Bobby Anderson is supposed to be from South Carolina. Let, let, me, let, me, let me show you guys this. Okay, again, okay, um, taxes. Um, all right, here we go. Um, let me pull it up and then I will, um, I will, I will show you guys. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, 
here is South Carolina, okay? South Carolina Department of Revenues. Here's one South Carolina, and then there's North Carolina too, because they, they're right next door to each other. There's more, there's more. Let me, let me show you guys some more, okay? Um, here we go. Oh, this is much better, okay? This one's much better. Okay, so here we go. These are the estate accountings, right? Here's South Carolina, state of South Carolina, and it says refund, tax refund, tax refund. What the heck is the estate doing in South Carolina? What are they doing in South Carolina? What, what are they doing in South Carolina? This is several different years, seven different pages of it. And here's South Carolina here, right? And so, and then this one says 2009, right? I mean, I, I'm not making this stuff up. This is South Carolina. Okay, so the estate, so I'm kind of thinking, okay, how am I going to figure this out? Because I know, um, because I know what I've experienced. <laughs> and I know what, you know, what, what Peter Michael Bobby has done. And if Peter Michael Bobby is just some guy in South Carolina, number one, where's the Southern accent? <laughs> right? Where's the Southern accent? Number two, number two, um, uh, uh, we have no proof that whoever these pictures are of this person is the same person that we're talking to, that, that I'm talking to. It doesn't, it doesn't show that. It doesn't prove that. And there's no way to prove it because in California, it's illegal to record someone without their explicit permission. It's illegal. Okay? So there's no way to uh, prove who I'm talking to on the phone. These are just pictures of someone, but it does seem like there's some kind of you know, a connection, but Bobby Anderson most certainly could be a real person, but it does not mean that's who's on the computer every day. And it does not mean that's who I'm talking to. Okay. The illusion of a clue, just like the illusion that Michael was being given propofol, right? Dr. Murray never kept any medical records that said he was given Michael propofol, right? We just know that he ordered propofol and propofol was shipped to the, his girlfriend's house, his baby mama's house, right? Right. And there was propofol in the body. But I proved to you guys in a live too that propofol is used in cryonic freezing. And the propofol expert said that the propofol was injected after death. <laughs> right. Alleged victim, alleged date. Right. Which means they, they cannot confirm that that person is Michael. And if you look at my first alive and I'm trying to figure it out because I finished the first alive in December 2010. Right. And when I finish the first alive, then I'm going, well, it's got to be somebody else. Because how could he be dead and alive at the same place? Is the body someone else's? And then we figured out as time went on, more and more information that led us to, it was a cryonic body double. And whoever says you can't do a blood transfusion is crazy. Blood transfusion is an old invention. They do blood transfusions all day, all night. Okay, every day. You take out blood, you put back in blood. It, it, it's blood transfusion. So anybody who says you can't do that, they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, for real, they don't know what they're talking about. Okay, look up blood transfusion yourself. Okay, so anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys there's a way that you can, and you know what, and the reason why Michael doesn't mind controversy, it takes a long time to be able to handle haters and lovers at the same time. But when you have haters and lovers, you got both sides looking your way. You got both, you get more popular when you have lovers and haters. I don't like haters because I'm just not 50 years in the business and I don't have the rhinoceros skin that Michael has, okay? But if somebody wants, you know, not, not there's going to be somebody that understands my point of view. So no matter what you put out there, there's going to be people that say, oh, that's terrible. And people are going to say, oh, I agree. And some people are going to be like, I don't care. Right. It's just the way it's, it's human. It's, it, but Michael Jackson fans, no matter what, they're like, look, she's on my side with Michael Jackson. <laughs> so she supports Michael. I support Michael. So I'm all good with whatever, because what is important to me, me and her are on the same page or at least in the same book or at least on the same chapter. OK, which me means we're on the same side. So for some people just, you know, they just want to hate. But anyway, I have more stuff. OK, I got more stuff. Okay, before I get into that, I want to show you guys. Um, uh, oh, and let me say this. Michael would tell me on the phone, or if you prefer Michael Peter Bobby, would tell me on the phone that I was in school, right? He'd say, you're in school. 
I spent 1,200 hours talking to him, at least 1,200 hours talking to him, maybe, maybe more. Is it more? Is it more, Michael? More? Um, and he told me I was in school, right? And I think one of the things that he um, wants me to learn, that no matter how people come at you, no matter how much hate you get, you stick to what you believe in, what you believe is correct, and what you believe is right. Because no one has been on the phone that 1,200 hours with me and him. Now, I shared a lot of stuff with you guys um, um, in a live three about, you know, his predictions, because that's the only way somebody had said, oh, I asked Peter about something that happened and he didn't answer. Maybe he didn't want to answer. <laughs> it ain't like he trying to prove he's Michael to a naysayer, right? He, naysayers, he don't want to know. He don't want you to know haters, right? Right. It, it, it's like, and, and how do we know what you say is true? <laughs> you know what I mean? But so I'm being true to myself. And after I reviewed it and I went over everything and all the predictions and me setting up things. And I told him one time, I said, I want you to do something that no matter what you can't take back because sometimes he'll give a clue and he'll take it back. Yes, I'm Michael. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm Michael. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm Michael. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. That's the game he plays, right? To keep us interested, right? to keep it going, right? Because he wants he wanted me to know that he's Michael, but maybe he didn't want other people to know. But anyway, so I told him, I said, I want you to do something that no matter what, you can't take back. No matter what, you can't take back. And that's when I um, ran into, that's when he knew where I was going and Latoya was in the polo lounge. And honey baby you can't take none of that stuff back you can't take back a rare pearl you can't take back your prediction of the escape album and then when he predicted the escape album the escape album came out may 9th in other countries and another date in other countries but may 13th came out in the united states how did he pre predict exactly that okay um neverland going for sale before it even hit the real estate registry how did he know okay how did he know about the hologram before it happened? Huh? Okay. How did he know? Oh, and then I used to uh, sell Jeep Chrysler Rams on my birthday. The CEO of Chrysler Jeep announced on my birthday that Michael and him was, Michael and Chrysler were, and I was selling Chryslers. Then Michael started selling Chryslers too. He joined Twitter the day before the death announcement. I'm sorry. You cannot undo that stuff. So the only thing that makes sense is that Bobby Anderson could be a real person and that's just a front for Michael. That's the only thing that makes sense. Because now you can put the pictures, you can put the family, you can put Michael, you can put the predictions, you can put all that in there and consider all of it. And it all matches and it all makes sense. It all makes sense. So anyway, you guys, um, please watch my Alive trilogy of Michael Jackson docs. I got to go. I got to go. Okay, real quick. Oh, my God. Okay, real quick. I got five minutes to get out of here. Okay, I got to go right now. Oh, my God. All right. So here is something from the um, um, Michael Jackson estate. That's life to grow and become more plant a seed and it grows something beautiful and never dies. I really think... Um, uh, people should be that way, Michael Jackson. Okay, that's a death hoax clue. Okay, let me close that real quick. Um, oh, Sony um, um, and Michael extend their agreement for them to be administering the estate. And all Michael's copyrights with um, BMI is in the name of Michael Joe Jackson. Okay, um, Michael Joe Jackson, the girl is mine. I have other ones. Um, Sony, let's see. Uh, I got that. Let's see what else. I don't want to go too fast. Oh, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie. Oh, this was good. I got to go after this one. This one was good. How often do you guys think about Michael? Oh, every, day. every day. Every day. I don't know. That's all my time. brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? I live in Las Vegas, so every time I'm driving down the oh, strip, man. I see posters of him on the bus right beside me. Say, hey, little brother, how you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see him all the time. Every time. It never, it never yes. fails. Yeah. Great things. How often do you guys think about Michael? 
Oh, every day. Time. Every day. It's the music I mean, around us oh, all the time. My brother. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I live in Las Vegas, so every time I'm driving down the strip, I see posters of him on the bus right beside me. Say, hey, little brother, how you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see him all the time. Every time. It never, it never yes. fails. Oh! How oh, my goodness. I didn't pull up the one where Jackie says he loves it. That The guy asked him, how, um, um, the, oh, man. Oh, man. I pulled up the wrong one, moving too fast. All right, I got to go, guys. I, I'll, I'll have to do that. Well, anyway, he, Jackie says, the, the guy says, how do you like the music? And he says, um, Michael, he loves it. He loves it. No, it should be he would have loved it. He loves it because it's, Michael's still around. And he's still talking to his family and everything. All right, guys, I'm going to have to go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I just have a couple of more BMIs with Michael Joe Jackson. I just got a couple more, and then I got to get out of here. Okay, the all in your name, BMI, Michael Jackson. Um, Liberian Girl, Michael Joe Jackson, um, all Michael's valuable stuff is Billy Jean, Michael Joe Jackson, not Joseph, it's Joe Jackson. Okay, guys, these are very, very valuable. And BMI is the people that, 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 um, that count the royalties and are responsible for how much money you get paid. All right, so that has to be in the right name. So anyway, guys, I got to go. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something that happened with Teddy Riley and Marcus Williams, too. And um, I want to uh, vote for Michael, number one Super Bowl performance. And um, I got to go. I got to go. I love you guys. I'm sorry I have to cut it short. Okay, toodles.